of going inside a shop, browsing through the various options available, and then picking up something that you like, something that you need, something that fits you. Oh, the feeling. I love shopping. And I'm sure almost all of us indulge in this pleasure from time to time. I do not want to get into poverty statistics, but talking of shopping, it's a little disturbing to fathom that a vast portion of our population is so, so poor that they haven't ever had a chance to even enter a shop in their entire lives. Forget about actually buying something. Now imagine a street side store where the poor can come and do a little bit of shopping for free, with respect, with dignity. And that's exactly what the street store is all about. The street store is the world's first rent-free, premises-free, pop-up clothing store for the poor, homeless, and needy. It was founded in January 2014 by Mark Pazak and Kaylee Levitan in Cape Town. And because homelessness is a universal problem, they decided to make it open source. So the best thing is now anybody can host a street store in their area, city, or locality. All you need to do is register on the official website, decide on a date and a venue, ask for donations from your friends, family, the public, set up a store with the received donations, and then create a unique shopping experience for the poor and the homeless. I'm sure all, almost all of us at some point have given away clothes and other things to the needy, and that's wonderful. But the whole idea behind the street store is to give them a dignified shopping experience where they can come and choose whatever they want for a change and not just make do with what's handed down to them as charity. I was extremely fortunate to be able to host a street store in Bhubanesha on the 23rd of October last year. It was the 34th in the world and the first in India. Apart from being an extremely fulfilling and enriching experience, there's plenty that I learned from it. And taking a cue from Michael, I'm, trying, I'm going to try not to make a speech, but take you through my journey of the street store through eight important lessons that I learned from it. Lesson number one, follow your instinct. I first got to know about the street store from a link shared by a friend on my Facebook feed. And I was so overwhelmed with the unique initiative that I immediately registered to host one in Bhubaneswar without giving, giving it a second thought. And now I think that if I would have pondered too much at that time, I would have been maybe bogged down with various apprehensions, like will I have the time to do it? Will something like this be acceptable in Odessa? What if I fail? And amidst all these doubts, would have eventually ended up not doing it. So although it is always wise to think things over and contemplate before getting into something, sometimes if you feel really strongly about a cause, then just go for it. Things will fall into place. Number two, this was an important life lesson because I realized, irrespective of how motivated I was, however inspired I was, it would have been impossible to host the street store without the unconditional support of a team. I work for a local radio station, and I was extremely fortunate that my team shared my enthusiasm. So starting from visualizing the whole event, to inviting donations on radio and social media, to collecting and sorting clothes, to connecting and spreading the word to the homeless, a core group of 10 and another 30 volunteers on ground were actively involved in the street store. And it's amazing what a group of highly motivated individuals can accomplish when they come together and work as a team. Lesson number three, 
This has to be one of the most fun parts about being a volunteer. Volunteering gives you the opportunity to completely forget yourself and be someone else and live someone else's life for a few hours or days. In my case, I got to play the role of a clothes shop manager. So from organizing the look and feel of the store to managing queues outside the store, keeping stock of clothes to customer satisfaction, it was some experience. So if you are passionate about something, but do not have the time for it in your busy lives, or if you're bored with your monotonous job, then volunteering is a great way to forget stress and release positive energy. I personally think I completely failed as a clothes shop manager. So next time, maybe I'll try my hand at teaching the underprivileged or maybe gardening. The options are endless. You just need to find out the time. Lesson number four, volunteering is an excellent learning process. The street store for me was a mini life event. People management, resource management, leadership, planning, execution, accounting, all this and much more. Be it a blood donation camp or a charity fair, or even a TEDx event for that matter. When you volunteer, you get a broader view of things and you end up learning so much more that isn't there in the textbook. Lesson number five, creativity catches the eye. The street store was an exceptionally unique concept. The whole idea of having a store where the poor can shop for free touched a lot of hearts. To be very honest, if it was just a regular donation drive for a charitable cause, I don't think I would have been that affected. From my experience, what I gathered was if you really want to involve a lot of people and generate a larger response for your charity event, apart from making sure that your efforts are genuine and sincere, you need to add a little bit of creativity to it. Think out of the box, do something different. Because like smartphones and MBA courses, sadly the word charity too has become a routine affair. So to involve more people in this busy world, you've got to do something different. Charity can be fun, exciting, happy. It doesn't always have to be serious and poignant. Lesson number six, it is not easy. Volunteering for a noble cause, doing something good, charity, all this sounds extremely nice and fancy, but trust me, it's not as easy as it sounds. I remember how disappointed we were when scores of impatient homeless people Yes, the very people for whom we were organizing the whole event broke the barricades, barged into our store, and literally threw everything upside down. To be fair, it wasn't really their fault because something like this was happening for the first time in Bhubaneswar. The whole idea of them picking up whatever they like from a shop-like setting without having to pay anything was pretty alien to them. So they were excited, but they were apprehensive probably thought, what if all the clothes got over when their turn came? So there was a point when a bunch of them barged in and ransacked the whole place. There was utter chaos. There was nothing left of the store. And at that time, all emotion of charity, all noble intentions, all thought of doing good vanished. Anger and frustration took over. The whole idea was to give them a dignified shopping experience, right? So you can't be rude and tell them to get out. Yet you have to be firm, not easy. We were so disappointed and helpless that at one point we considered just going back home and giving up. But like they say, giving up is the easiest thing to do in the world. So we took some time, sorted it out, slowly cleared the place, called in more volunteers, and set up everything else again. This was an important lesson because we realized nothing comes easy in life. There are bound to be ups and downs and bottlenecks, and getting over these and carrying on is the ultimate experience. It is important to give back to society. Volunteering for the street store or any other cause has always made me realize how fortunate and blessed I am. This might sound extremely cliched, but yes, we need to give back to society. It is each of our responsibility to contribute positively to the community. Some do a lot, some do little, but doing absolutely nothing is just not cool. Again, very cliched, but yes, every bit counts. There are a lot of people who have dedicated their lives to social service and they get joy out of it. But come on, nobody expects that from us. But I don't think there would be anybody in this room who would say that they do not want to contribute at all. We all do. But the reality is we all are busy with our lives, our jobs, our dreams, our ambitions, 
and we are happy and busy and content dealing with that. But it's just a matter of prioritizing and taking out a bit of time. Once in a week, once in a month, anything is good enough. Lesson number eight, the world is full of good people. When we started inviting donations, our one major fear was what if we don't get donations? What if people don't turn up? But within a week, donations started pouring in in overwhelming numbers. Heaps and heaps and heaps of clothes till we literally had no place in the office to store them. We were amazed by the number of people who wanted to be a part of this cause. And most of the donors said that they would love to donate regularly, but they just did not know where and how to do it safely. We were more than happy to be a medium for them. More than 250 well-wishers donated at the street store and more than 600 underprivileged shopped there. And still today, we get calls from around the state and the country inquiring about the street store. The lesson that I learned here was it is really easy to think that there isn't any good left in the world anymore. But in reality, the world is full of good people wanting to do a lot of good. We just need to find an excuse to bring all these good people together. The street store was one such excuse. You just need to find out what your excuse is. If an idea is simple, sincere, and selfless, it has the power to become a movement. The street store was one such idea. Till date, there have been more than 152 street stores around the world. That day, when we shut the store and went back home, we were completely exhausted, spent. But there was a mad sparkle in our eyes and a weird joy in our hearts. And when we were asked, what was it that you loved about the street store? Somebody said, the smiles in the faces of the children when they went back home with shopping bags in their hands. Somebody else said, the tears of gratitude in the eyes of the old man who found a pair of shoes for his blistered feet. I still don't know what the street store was all about. But all I learned is that be it at the street store or for any other cause, volunteering means giving. Giving your time, your energy, your efforts, your money, your heart. Volunteering is giving yourself without expecting anything in return. And whenever we give without expecting anything in return, a certain kind of happiness is conceived that cannot be described in words. It can only be experienced. Here are some glimpses of the street store that was organized in Bhubaneswar on the 23rd of October.
Thank you very much.